Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about the date diff function. So if you want to play along, follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB16 and then let's open that one up. Alright, now in the last video we were attempting um, to create a query for query booking details that we're going to try and use as a sort of universal query um, although I'm not going to commit to that uh, but if we go to design view we can see that what we did do is we took table booking details and added all the information from that and we added an extra column which was cost per night where we used a dlookup function to return the cost of a room from table rooms and we were using the room ID to specify which room we wanted now, what I'm going to do in this video is look at the difference between check-in date and check-out date, and I want us to be able to work out the duration of a uh, stay. So if we look at this one, we've got a check-in date of the 15th of May and a check-out date of the 19th, and we want to return the amount of nights of the stay. Well, that would be the night of the 15th, the night of the 16th, 17th, and 18th not the night of the 19th because that's the checkout date so we would want this first record to return number four uh, we would also want this second record to return four we would want third to return five etc etc so how do we do that uh, quite simple really we use uh, the date diff function so click in an empty column and click on builder and first of all, we're going to name this duration and a colon and remember anything you put before the colon will be the name of the field and if we tap in just date before we go charging ahead you can see you've got quite a few different um, date functions you can use the one we're interested in is to today's date diff but i recommend you sort of go through them and see if you can make some sense of uh, what they are okay so we've got date diff function here and i'm just going to press the comma just so you can bring up or it can bring up this sort of uh, extra information and we can see that we've got one two three arguments that we have to provide and then a couple of optional ones uh, in this case don't worry at all about the optional ones I've never used them the arguments we have to provide are the interval date one and date two date one and date two are the dates we want to find a difference in so that's going to be check in and check out the interval is the kind of um, interval we want so for example you can tell the date diff function that you want it to return the difference in days um, or uh, you might only be interested in difference in months um, I have to be honest with you I tend to universally use days most of the time so maybe I'm not getting the most out of my date diff function but I think I can live with it okay so interval um, I want it to return days and in order for it to do that it's uh, double quotation mark D double quotation mark that stays so you're passing a string variable to the uh, function comma date one is check-in date comma checkout date simple as that press ok uh, actually just bring that back up so I'll rush through that so have a look at that duration colon date the function interval is D in um, quotation marks and then check-in date and checkout date the check-in date and checkout date refer to this check-in date here and that checkout date and if we run it you can see that it returns four for the first line four for the second five for the third line which we can work out ourselves but this gets a bit more tricky well not really actually but that's 29 nights this one's more tricky 64 nights okay so that's the date diff function very useful function to know about um oh minus nine Let's change that sorry yeah that was a date the function very useful function to know about have a play around with some of those date functions see what you can make of them um, and i shall hope to see you in the next video after i save this